Aside from her hobby of playing piano, Katie Thorne in the high school at Dixie County High also examines cadavers. Katie and around 20 other students from North Central Florida participate in a governor's summer program at Lake City Community College. Oh, well, I was excited because at my school, the labs never really involved much hands-on. So coming here would be the first time I had a science class that really involved anything hands-on at all. I thought it would be interesting, especially because I don't really get squeamish around cadavers and it's, something, it's another way to learn. Katie's not squeamish now, but that's only because her work with the cadaver has helped her get rid of certain fears. The only parts of the body I have problems with are skin and feet. My parents told me that they didn't know how I could be a doctor if I couldn't stand skin or seeing skin cut, but doing so much of it's kind of helped me to get over that, and I have less of a problem with skin now. One of her instructors, Dr. Juan Guzman, says students learn many things by looking at the structure of an actual human body and get a college credit along the way. They have the opportunity of learning, memorizing all the structure that they previously saw in the, uh, in the regular laboratory. The ones that who pass this, uh, this course will have the, their credits for anatomy and physiology one. The students in the governor's program use scalpels, scissors, and pickups to look at the cadavers. All right, now let's see what I can find out here. Uh, I just can't bring myself to do it. Are you my doctor? <laughs> yes. Besides looking at cadavers, Katie also gets to operate on a mannequin that can breathe, blink, and talk. Now that may look like a mirror behind Katie, but it's actually one-sided, meaning Dr. Mary Hill can see and interact with the students as the dummy, but the students can't see her. And I'll be able to control the the physiology of the patient based on what they do. I'll be able to answer questions and ask them questions and be able to respond to them just as a, as a human patient would. But how exactly does Katie's mother feel about her child operating on both a talking dummy and a cadaver? It's a tremendous program. I am very pleased with it. What would be your reaction if you were working on the cadavers? Uh, no, not me. I would not do it. That's, that's more for medicine not for me. A little scary for mom, but for Katie, it's an experience that keeps her on her toes and will help in the search for a true passion in life. It's another learning opportunity. It's interesting. Thank God, this is the most fun I've ever, ever had in a class. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do yet, but I embrace knowing it. You know, there are times that people couldn't operate on cadavers, and now we're, we have the opportunity to get this knowledge and find out if medicine is really the field I want to go into. With high school graduation in less than a year, the Adventures in the Governor's Summer Program should assist in whatever field Katie goes into. Wes Franklin, WUFT News.